His first pitch to Dansby Swanson is up. Well, offensively for Vanderbilt, the guy that really gets it started, Dansby Swanson, run it to top. Four pitches, four balls. Vanderbilt gets in business early. I thought that's, that's correct. That's where it? we had you knock, yep. nailed in. That one by Sparks. And Vanderbilt's going to have two men on. Diving effort by the third baseman. And he was unable to come up with it. But that's different in college baseball. And Condi does lay down a good one. Surrey's going to have to be quick with his throw. Nice play, but again, a successful sacrifice. And Vanderbilt has men in scoring position. Wheel got jammed, but he drives one in the right. It brings in Swanson. Reynolds is rounding, and he's going to hold there as the ball comes back into the cutoff, man. But it's 1 0 Vanderbilt on an RBI single from Wheel. Wheel's got 13 steals. He's over at first. There's a squeeze play that will work. The hand got in. A great dive by Brian Reynolds, and it's 2 0. Tags him. Well, you can see it's a safety too. Reynolds waiting until this ball goes down, and it's played about as well as it possibly can be. Another one, and a good one. Only play to first. Sparks safe at first base. Vanderbilt three bunts, small balling the anteaters. He hits one on the ground, hard to second, to short for one over to first. Double play. That'll help. We talked plenty about Taylor Sparks, and that's the power. But when we talked Mike Gillespie this morning, he said Connor Spencer's our best hitter. It was it, and he got him to roll over to second base. Very clean inning as Beatty pumps his fist. 2 2 hit hard to second. Backhanded with time, and then Grant Palmer's unable to pick it up. He had time, and he just couldn't pick it up and throw to first base. 1 2, he waited on that and drove it right between third and shortstop. Dansby Swanson, the sophomore here in Omaha with his play. This one, high hopper. Sparks has it. Plenty of time to throw. Did not hold the bag. Connor Spencer was dragged off the bag, and that's another mistake. For a center fielder's head, dead center, yeah. Runners are going, called strike three. DHing tonight. Look out. Ouch. That one got him right on the ankle and it hurt point of view throwing tonight. That one into right that's going to get down. Munoz with his bad ankle is going to go to third base and the Anteaters have men on the corners and one out after the Palmer single. Good wood there that one gets through into right he's going to bring Munoz in holding up at second base and an RBI single for Chris Paulino so the bottom of the order. Delivering for the Anteaters. Fastball gets through. Here's your throw to third. And he short armed it. Watch for a squeeze. Here he comes. Ball down. Safe. His foot got in. Tied at two. The ball may have beat him to home, but Palmer's foot got in between the legs of delay, and it's tied up. Well, the ball definitely beats him. I think the question is, does the slide just get underneath the foot of delay? But watch where that front foot is. He gave him all of home plate. Justin Castro is the nine hitter. Yes, he squares yes, to yes, bunt. Yes. It got away from delay, and the runners are going to advance. Castro hit this one hard on the line. Very shallow. Norwood, here's your throw. Good throw it was, and back to third base goes Paulino. Up the middle with topspin. It gets through. Paulino's in. Alcantara coming home. He's in. And a very, very big hit for Taylor Sparks. 4 2 Anteaters. Yep. You got Sparks coming up. So ball through. And the one thing with Condi, when you hit it to him, it's an out, but the range is not great. So the ball into the center field, there's nobody to cut this ball. Walker Bueller up and throwing right now for Vanderbilt. A release point issue to where he doesn't feel comfortable. When it comes out of his hand, but I go back to what I say. It's one thing if you're missing in the same spot. He's looking at the guy that was selected in the eighth round by the New York Yankees, Connor Spencer. He got him. A rare strikeout and a big strikeout. But UCI sent nine men to the plate. Look out, and he hit Jerry McClanahan. 
Squared to bunt, down to second, caught in a rundown. This will help if they can get him. That's McClanahan in a rundown, and he's tagged out by Xander Wheel. You wouldn't see it if you were walking down the street with clothes on. Beatty makes the catch. 2 0, runner goes. Now Paulino's caught in a rundown, throw to first. Wow, they're giving away outs. Count was 3 0. It was, you're not calling a hit and run 2 0. I mean, to me, I think Paulino's the one that missed that one. 3 0. Six runs is a boatload tonight already, though. Another ball, hit batter. Ball. Sparks to first. So Bueller's coming in. There are two outs. So for Bueller, for most of the season, he was the midweek guy, and, and he's the best midweek guy in the country. Hmm. 11 and 2 with a 239, more than a strikeout per inning. And Those are the guys that have scored tonight. Good pitch there. This one elevated. It's the right fielder, Reisman. He's under it and makes the play. College. A lot of people kind of confuse that. Jess was a great hitter. And there's that swing from Swanson. This one is in the corner and left. The verticality produces a double for Dansby Swanson. Vertical practicality, Rabbi. I, no, I just shortened it. This one up the middle, top spin on it. Cut off by the shortstop. Nice job and a good job by Swanson, too, to not take a big turn at third because Rabago was ready to fire and get him had he made that turn to the 11th. Condi on the ground, Rabago smothers, he'll go across the diamond, makes the play. Great play by the shortstop to get the speedy Condi at first. Wheel hits this one hard, left fielder retreats, Alcantara over his head. Game is tied, and Wheel in the second with a double. Adam Alcantara looked like he just started backstepping as opposed to turning and going, and he paid the price for it. Might be the first time we've seen a ball just directly over an outfielder's head that they can't get to, and this ball is smoked. Wheel with big time raw power got through that one. 3 2 is in the dirt, and a walk to Xavier Turner. There's another hit batter, and Surrey was playing it as if it came off the bat. Right field, speed on third and wheel. He's tagging, here's your throw home. It is cut off, or at least attempted to be cut off, and Vanderbilt grabs the lead. Ninety-one, and it's good enough to get Ellison to swing and miss. One, two, great pitch there. We saw a 95 mile an hour fastball and then a breaking ball. Canceled for 10 years. 3 2 to Munoz. This one is on the ground. And a real strong inning from Walker Bueller. PowerPoint presentation as to why facial hair would be beneficial. This ball is This ball is ripped down the line and left. Off the top of the wall. Dansby Swanson, his second double. He's been on base four times tonight and just missed a home run. An offensive player in high school, great changeup. That's not an easy thing to do. Get Brian Reynolds to strike out. Not going now, this one elevated to right, drifting back is Paulino, he's under it now and makes the catch. 5-4 here in the World Series, and another strikeout. Great pitch, third strikeout. He's retired all seven. 35 pitches out of the bullpen. Rhett Weissman. On the ground, fair ball. Past the dive of Spencer. Weissman to second base. Standing up with a double. John Norwood in the dirt. Weissman's off to third base. Takes a big turn and then stops there. Down and away. Norwood into left field. That'll bring in Weissman. The insurance run for Vanderbilt comes with a single and it's 6-4. Oh. Down to second, great jump, slides in underneath safe. the tag and he is time safe. Out. Time out, time out. Sky high, left field shallow, shortstop 
Rabago going out. He's under it. He makes the play. You move for Vandy and Brock for Irvine. There's Castro is gone. The UCI, all three of their hits took place in that second inning. Got him. 94 and he chased it. That's what velocity does for you. Well, they're going to. 0 1 up the middle. Flip to short for the force out. Swanson and Condi get that done. Almost to some degree that they got him to buy in. It looks like he lost the argument, yeah, too. He did appear to lose that. He does lay it down, charging it first. They're going to go to second in a nice play wow. over there. Connor Spencer came flying in and threw a seed. 96 after 96. <laughs> Swanson is going. They pitch it out, throw down. Not in time. Swanson's got another stolen base. On the ground to short, Rabago fires across the diamond. Strong arm, and he gets Reynolds. Vanderbilt's trying to add two theirs. Sparks makes the play as he grabs it at third and throws wheel out. So you got four guys who you can trust. That helps. 94 with some run on it. Six strikeout for Bueller. Lost it. And he hit him. <laughs> Setting up on the outside corner. Seven strikeout of the night. You see Irvine done. On the ground in the hole, Rabago's going to have to fire it, and he does not get him. Could be a key part if they can fight back through this loser's bracket. There's two splits in a row. I thought that ball was foul too. Was that that wasn't foul? That, that sounded foul. Peapack and Gladstone, New Jersey, went to Seton Hall Prep. That one's in the dirt and Great, right. hustling down to third is Xavier Turner. Now between Merton and Moore, the game has just ground to a halt. He is going. He does throw a splitter. He gets the strikeout. That one did hit him. That one did hit him. Delay is way off first. The pitch to Swanson ripped to third base. He hit it hard, but hit right at Taylor Sparks. Back up the middle over the head of Bueller. Fielded at second and Swanson. Maybe it will be an historic night. Great play by the second baseman, Dansby Swanson. On the ground, cut off by the third baseman, Turner. Two down. Bueller shakes off one, the 2 2 to Rabago. Center field, Norwood, game over. Vanderbilt 2 0 to start the College World Series.